Hello everyone, welcome to Anime Know Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Garp's title as a Vice Admiral. Now, every other important member of the Marines has a title that matches their personality or their power, and most of the time, this title follows this sailor all the way into the end of their life. Garp is the only important Marine so far who could have been an Admiral, and at least does not have or has just outright refused the title that he could hold in the Marines, which could mean that he either only Admirals are called by this title, or he just decided to hide this title for some reason. The title other than, basically, what he's always known for as being the Hero of the Marines. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this possible title that Garp has, what are the reasons why he may not have revealed this title so far, and what clues we have about this hidden title. But before we dive into that mystery, if you're new to the channel, we'd be absolutely honored if you consider leaving us a like, or even subscribing with a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help us out in a bigger way, consider sharing the video or the channel with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So friends, as I said, the titles that are important characters in the Marines have so far been based on their personality or powers, and we can use examples from the current Admirals to prove this point. Starting with Borsalina, who became known as Kizaru, has a title that comes about because of his humorous personality, and his costume and powers that are colored yellow because of the light powers that he uses. Borsalino has always been shown to have a funny personality, is always making jokes, even when his life is in danger. He always seems to make jokes even about the situation. Even being the most ironic of the times, he says that he's trembling with fear while he's actually just having fun. As I just mentioned, the word yellow is in his title and is derived from the color of his power, which is of course the power of light. He emits a great yellow light when using his powers. Joining these factors, he received the title of Kizaru when he joined the Marines, or at least became one of the Admirals. And in any case, all Admirals have this title. Isho, or known as by his title Fujitora, was called the Purple Tiger, and he holds this title because of his personality, which goes against what the current members of the world government think. He follows his own ideologies, and thus has the same personality as a tiger, being on his own. The purple, as well as Fujitora, derives from his power that has a purple-colored aura when he uses it, and of course this being the power of his gravity fruit. Thus makes his title, the, the purple tiger with the marines, much more applicable. Kuzan, or when he was known by the title of Aokiji, the blue pheasant, has this title because of his calm, free personality like that of a pheasant. He doesn't care about the events around him, and only about his own personal freedom. Just like the other admirals we've talked about, the color mentioned in his title is because of his power, which is the ability to create ice and become ice itself, thus is always portrayed in blue. Sakazuki, or also known in the Marines as Akainu, the red dog, holds this title for following the rules given to him just like a dog obeying its master. He follows every order to the letter because he faithfully believes that everything the Marines and the world government do is something that can lead the world in a good direction. Because he possesses the power of lava, the color of his title is red, thus forming his title of red dog being obedient and possessing an incredible red power capable of defeating any opponent. And finally, we have Ryokugyu. Now, we don't have his real name, but his title means Green Bull, so he may have an unstoppable character, being quite proud and even arrogant. It's also possible that his power has something to do with the color green, because just like the other schemes in the Admiral's names, it's gotta follow in that logic. But so far, we can't confirm anything, because we have really seen much more than a silhouette of it. Based on these titles for the Admirals, we can see that Garp may possess a title that matches his rather cheerful and outgoing personality. But unlike other admirals, Garp does not possess a devil fruit. But Garp, during his first appearance, was shown to have an animal costume, and even his boat had animal characteristics. And for this, his title may be based on that. In Garp's very first appearance, we see him dressed in kind of a dog costume, or at least a hat that is a dog. And it's not really known why, but he's also on a boat that has a dog's face on the front. Like a Kainu, he's also depicted as a dog. Garp has great loyalty to the Marines, but his loyalty ends when it comes to his family. Unlike a Kainu, who just follows the world government's orders without question. Garp obeys the missions they receive, but also acts with more freedom in his choices. As we see when he, someone from his family is in the middle of a conflict, like Luffy, he tends to change his mind. A good example of this is when we saw in the Battle of Marineford that even though he was very sad that his grandson Ace was ready to have his life taken from him by the Marines, Garp didn't do anything against the Marines' choice. At all costs, he prevented any pirate from saving Ace. But when his grandson Luffy went towards him to save his brother, Garp thought about attacking Luffy, but then hesitated and chose not to stop it. Garp even allowed Luffy to hit him and thus knocked him off the platform that was attached directly to where Ace was, allowing Luffy to get Ace and save him. There have also been several moments when Garp decides not to capture Luffy, such as in their reunion. And even though he's had the opportunity, he does not take his grandson to be captured or even have his life taken by the Marines. This could mean that his hidden title of dog is not his loyalty to the Marines, like Akainu's, but his loyalty is to his family and relatives, because even if he tries to avoid this great bond that he 
has. At some point, he always chooses his relatives first. Or it could represent the fact that, just like Luffy, Garp's personality causes him to befriend even his enemies, and earns respect from all those people, and even manages to get close to everyone without making everyone want to keep fighting. So it could be that the animal that represents Garp is a dog, and the title could have originally been created for him. After all, Garp would have been an admiral before Akainu, so the dog title would have originally been there for him. But because he's unlike other admirals, and does not possess the power of Devil Fruit, Garp's power is just based on his amazingly great strength and his incredible level of hockey, so this could be the basis for the creation of a unique title within the Marines. It's also quite interesting that although Garp and Akainu seem to have very opposite personalities, they also match with these dog titles very well. With their opposite personalities, while Akainu obeys the law and doesn't care about his family or friends, Garp cares about his friends and family first, so the two have a difference. Even though they are both considered to be two of the most important and powerful Marine members of all time, Garp is a very caring and loving and loyal man to his family, and really has always wanted to see them follow in his footsteps. But even though he's related to them now that they've gone on different paths, he still obeys the laws of the Marines. Despite wanting his family to become sailors, his son Dragon followed the destiny as a revolutionary, and his grandson and adopted grandson Luffy and Ace became world-renowned pirates. Also, because he has a somewhat playful personality, during conversations in which he really has no interest in listening, he falls asleep just right there, and even if he's standing, still falls asleep showing his boredom. Unlike most Marines, Garp does not believe that a person's lineage determines their path, because he went as far as to protect Ace throughout his childhood, even though he was the son of his former rival and, of course, Pirate King. Goldie Roger. Obviously, he did the same for his grandson Luffy, because he saw and still sees the great potential in this boy. And even if Luffy did not become a Marine as he wished, Garp takes great pride in seeing that his grandson has become so strong. It also has to be mentioned and kind of wondered about why Garp wanted his grandchildren to become Marines, but then chose to leave them in the charge of rogues and really mountain bandits to raise them and teach them up. Maybe Garp believed that throwing the children into dangerous situations would eventually make them strong because he has no problem fighting with them, and especially if they need to learn an important lesson. But it does have to be asked, why was it to Don? And though he can seem dangerous as strong, he cares a lot for the people around him, and possesses a very large heart. Garp sometimes even gave his children some very good advice. As an example, when Ace asked Garp if he should have been born, Garp replied that Ace will find the answer if he continues to live, encouraging the boy to not give up and to keep living. Garp is also one of those amazing characters that although he only has appeared a few times, he's a character who shows his feelings and the most towards his family members, because they are all that really matters to him. Although Garp will follow the Marines' most serious orders, he places a greater value on his freedom and his family, often to the point of breaking the rules to follow his own sense of justice. To talk a little bit more about this sense, despite performing his duties, Garp has his own sense of justice and moral code to follow, and based on Sengoku's words, it's the main reason why Garp has refused promotion to Admiral several times, because Garp refuses to follow follow the orders from the world nobles. He knows how cruel they are, and would not allow himself to have his freedom taken away and follow the orders of those people who only care about themselves and make other people miserable and suffer. Even though he can't do anything against the world nobles directly, Garp stays away from them so he doesn't have to do actions that the nobles would force him to do, taking the lives of innocent people, or even worse. And even after he left his position as Vice Admiral to train new and upcoming Marines, he still appears to have respect for that organization. With the respect he had for Akainu was long gone after the Battle of Marineford. Garp, so far, hasn't sought revenge against Akainu for taking Ace's life, because inevitably Ace would have lost his life during this Marineford battle anyway. But it's also because of the way that Akainu took his life and then tries to take Luffy's life. This obviously had to have left Garp quite shaken and with questions. We probably won't see Garp trying to take revenge on Akainu anytime soon, because that would get him kicked out of this organization, which he has great respect for and has practically spent his entire life working for. But there may also be another reason that we haven't yet discussed about why Garp is staying there, and it could have something to do with what his son does. But for now, we're going to see that Garp will still remain in the Marines, where everyone recognizes him as this great Marine and sailor, and where he has a title that may be revealed to everyone in the future, and the great hero of the Marines. But for now, what do you think about it? Do you think that Garp has a secret title? Could it have something to do with S.W.O.R.D., or something to do with the revolutionaries? And if not for the fact that he wants to stay in the Marines because he just loves the organization, why why do you think that Garp stays with this organization that does so much evil and that he disagrees with? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up our talk about the hero of the Navy, my friends, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video all the way to the
to the very end. Make sure you comment in any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like or hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.